Hi there, it's Judith Ann Desjardins in Santa Monica. We are at the scene of one of my favorite things in the world to do. It's a lot of work, but it is certainly worth all the effort. Recently, I added new, beautiful Douglas fir um, doors leading into my bedroom and I did not want them to get water damage from sprinklers that were watering the prior um, roses and bushes that were in that planter box. So the first thing I had to do in this project was to sort through the soil that was in there and remove everything that I did not want. I spent about three hours yesterday pulling out rocks, roots, um, poor soil in order to make these deep holes that will be holding my precious new roses. This one that we're looking at is called the Rose Gold Metal. It's supposed to have an absolutely wonderful fragrance and it will grow tall like my beautiful deep red Lincoln Rose, which also has a wonderful aroma. And then this is the other um, plant tree. I'm going to get the description of it over here. This one is called the Radiant Perfume. And it's going to grow as high as five feet with petals that are four to five inches and glossy dark green foliage and a strong citrus flavor. This is supposed to be, it says, our most fragrant, here we go, our most fragrant rose ever with strong citrus scent, stunning in gardens and boutiques, graceful form and long stems. So that beauty is gonna go in between the red Lincoln and this gold metal that will have um, orange and yellow flowers. Now I say it's one of my favorite things because this project involves what I call architectural landscaping. I love to marry form, like my trees, my um, new doors, with something beautiful in nature. This is my patio where we come to relax and entertain and just greet each new day. And this excites my imagination, my right brain and my left brain. And this process is very much for me like the therapy process. I have recently gained some very interesting and cool new clients, a 26-year-old, a 35-year-old, a couple that are 60 and 70 years old. They're very interesting, motivated people that want to solve various problems and get to know themselves and their, improve their coping skills and their communication patterns and establish a deep, intimate relationship with themselves. And I liken this architectural landscaping project with therapy. When people come into therapy, whatever age they are, they are bringing that many years of the past to work in therapy at the present. 
and <clears throat> in their chronological years they have accumulated perhaps a lot of trauma from early family difficulties in the school system difficulties in relationships some people are very guarded some people have substance abuse disorders there's a variety of symptoms which propel people into therapy and I tell them this is a long slow process we are not going to solve your problems in two therapy sessions I need to get to know you and the various parts of you so that I can clinically diagnose if there's any disorders like anxiety or depression or substance abuse or whatever but I need to know what you've lived through so that I can help assess potential areas that need to be cleaned out just like I had to clean out the flower bed over here it took hours and hours of hard work to get in there to dig around to sift out rocks, poor soil, roots, things that were not flourishing, to clean them out and make space for the new beautiful to go in. And so that's what we do in therapy. Week after week, we pull out and examine things from the past that are harmful or destructive. As we are cleaning out and getting to know what's hidden in the unconscious, what lies in the body's cellular memory, often we find beauty deep inside. The spirit is, it's hard to say where it is in the four-part person, body, mind, emotion, and spirit but quite often it's buried deep inside the person and covered over with lots of junk. So as we clean out the interior space of the person, we also make space to explore what wonderful things are inside the person, their authentic spirit that they were born with, that has been submerged, and now has the opportunity to grow. We also, in therapy, put in a lot of nutrients, like this wonderful rose and flower planting mix with true biotic inside beneficial soil microbes. All of us need to have positive affirmations. All of us need to perceive that we are lovable, worthy, um, good, that we have promise, that our bodies can change, our emotions can be set free so that they self-regulate and seek out joy. All of this is like my project today. So this is just an overview of me and the various work I do. I send blessings to everyone around the world and we'll check back on these new rose babies that I have adopted and see how they flourish. You can hear the song of the birds. This is a very happy, healthy place to grow up. So blessings to you and I'll get on with my work today. Thank you.